be ready 5 seconds start the code in quick heal technologies limited was of the view that clause 17 of the agreement therein inter alia shows that there is no pre existing agreement between the parties that they should or they will refer their disputes to arbitration or to the court in other words the parties have at no stage agreed to an option of referring their disputes under the said agreement to arbitration or to the court it held it is clear beyond any doubt that clause 17 of the agreement is a clause which is drafted with proper application of mind in as much as the parties have first agreed that all disputes under the agreement shall be amicably discussed for resolution by the designated personnel of each party thereby making it mandatory to refer all disputes to designated personnel for resolution by amicable discussion it is thereafter if such dispute cannot be resolved by the designated personnel within 30 days the same may be referred to arbitration thereby clearly making it optional to refer the disputes to arbitration in contrast to the earlier mandatory agreement to refer the disputes for amicable settlement to the designated personnel for such party the judgment has no applicability in so far as the judgments relied upon by mr suhail dat are concerned in everest one elevator guide rail manufacturer corporation limited the supreme court was concerned with a dispute resolution clause 15 therein which reads as common processing contract disputes the parties should be settled through consultation consultation fails by treatment of to the arbitration body for arbitration or the court the supreme court by referring to its earlier judgment in the case of india technical services private limited wherein the supreme court was dealing with clause 13.2 and 13.3 which reads as under held that clause 15 refers to arbitration or court depicts there is an option and the petitioner has invoked the arbitration clause and therefore there is no impediment in the appointment of an arbitrator the supreme court accordingly appointed the arbitrator for adjudicating the disputes and differences between the parties subject to clause 13.3 all disputes or differences arising out of or in connection with this agreement which cannot be settled amicably by the parties shall be referred to adjudication if any dispute or difference under this agreement touches or concerns any dispute or difference under the parties shall refer to the adjudicator the relevant paras being paras 8 and 9 are reproduced as this court had the occasion to deal with such a clause in the agreement in india technical services private limited versus ws atkins rail limited in the said agreement clause number 13 dealt with the settlement of disputes clause 13.2 and 13.3 that throw light on the present case were caused in the luggage 13.2 subject to clause 13.3 all disputes 
or differences arising out of or in connection with this agreement which cannot be settled amicably by the parties shall be referred to adjudication 13.3 if any dispute or difference under this agreement touches or concerns any dispute or difference under either of the sub contract agreements then the parties agree that such dispute or difference here under will be referred to the adjudicator or the courts as the case may be appointed to decide the dispute or difference under the relevant sub contract agreement and the parties here to agree to abide by such decision as if it were a decision under this agreement interpreting the above clauses the judge designated by the learned chief justice of india held thus furthermore from the wording of clause 13.2 and 13.3 i am convinced for the purpose of this application that the parties to the memorandum intended to have their disputes resolved by arbitration and in the facts of this case the petition has to be allowed in so far as the reliance placed by learned counsel on the judgment of supreme court in sundarban marine products private limited and others is concerned the supreme court was concerned with clauses 14 and 15 of the distributorship agreement therein dated february 1st 1994 which as all disputes arising out of or in any way connected with this agreement shall be deemed to have arisen in madras and only courts in madras shall have jurisdiction to determine the same in the event of any dispute or difference between the parties here to as to the operation of this agreement the distributor may refer the matter to arbitration such demand for arbitration shall specify the matters which are in question dispute or difference and only such dispute or difference other than accepted matters for which the demand has been made and no other dispute or difference shall be referred for the arbitration by an officer of employee to be nominated by and the provisions of the indian arbitration act 1940 for the time being in force or of any other act of the legislature passed in substitution thereof or modifications thereof and for the time being in force apply to such arbitration